Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Today's episode is brought to you by you, and only by you, and nothing but you, from your comments. Yes, we're going to go back two episodes. Episode 17, we talked about looting bags and how to open them and get them all taken care of. I got two comments I want to address real quickly. Uh, the first one is really simple. Let's go down below. Let's see if I can get out of the screen. There we go. And the first thing is, you know, one thing in here you don't really need is this filter. We don't need a filter. It's in there, it's, it's there, it'll work. Because when we went to the brown channel, that, that isolated it all together. So when we have three coming out brown and one going in brown, there's nowhere else they can go. So we really didn't need the filter. Good point. Um, it might come in handy later, and I'll explain that, I hope, in the end of this episode. The second comment, and I got several of these, is that we can craft these together to get an epic bag. And so I've afk for a while, and now I've got a whole bunch of more bags here to go. And we can go ahead and set up a crafting grid for them, and you can tell me which you think is better. Alright, let's go ahead and look at the recipe of what we're going to do today. We're going to make a crafter. C-R-A-F-T-E-R. And we're going to make a tier 3 level. Not a 1, not a 2, but a 3. We are just going to go all out for this one. And trust me, it's not really a big deal. Let's go ahead and look at the first one. And the hardest thing to make is the machine frame for this thing. Yep, that is the hardest thing we have to make. We have to put some lapis, some gold nuggets, and some iron around the sides. And we have our machine frame. That was tough. While we're at this, let's go ahead and make six of these redstone torches. That is the next hardest thing compared to six crafting tables. All right, so now we have everything we need to get to a tier level three crafter. Yep, it's really, really, really not that bad. All right, let's go ahead and shift and enter, and it'll automatically put the stuff in here. We can go ahead and actually, let's go ahead and put the rest of the stuff in here. So it'll be three on each one, and then the single machine frame in the middle. And this gives us a crafting tier one. We're going to take that crafting tier one, and we're going to put it in the middle, and guess what? We have a crafting two tier level. And now we're going to do it again, and we have the third one. So it really, really, really isn't that hard to make. Really, really simple to do if you choose to do it this way. All right, let's go ahead and click this one here, and we'll put our crafting table right here, our crafter. And now we're going to right-click. Actually, before we right-click, I'm going to get one of each one of these things. And it'll help if I left-click, so right-click. Now we're going to right-click on this thing, and we have our interface. First thing we're going to do is click on No Recipe. We're going to take the common bag, and we're going to do a 2x2 two two grid here. And that gives us this thing here. And we're going to do this external, internal, excuse me. What it means is if you, this bag, once it gets crafted, it'll stay in the inventory. It will not be sent back out, so we can use it again. So we're going to hit Apply. Now we're going to take this one and make, actually, let's go ahead and click on the next recipe. And we're going to make the next one before we can get the rare looting bag. And we're going to keep it inside here also. And we're going to hit apply. So now we've got the second level. And now we're going to do the third level. Click here. One, two, three, four. And we're going to keep it internal also and apply. Now there's one more bag we don't have yet. Let's go ahead and look at it and I'll show you. Loot. Ding. Loot. Looting bags. There we go. Is It's this one here. It makes the epic bag. I mean, this is the epic bag that we're making. But uh, we don't have any to craft the recipe, so we have to start this up to get it going. So let's go ahead and we'll hit apply. I think I already did, just to make sure, and we're out of that. And now let's go down below and hook it all up. It needs some power. So there's one. Oops, let's not do that one. Let's do one and then two. And it also needs item conduit. So let's click there. Now it has the item conduit and that. We're going to right click on this thing and we're going to do insert. Actually we can do both. Insert, excerpt. And the insert part we're going to do again, we're going to do the brown like we had before. Sorry, it's the left click. Should have done that one. And I don't think it'll go over here to our old crafting table, but I, I mean, I'm to this thing. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it off just in case. So we are going to change that back to green for now. So right now, these three here should be all set to export to brown. Extract brown, and we're going to turn it on, and we can go ahead and look at our crafting table, our crafter, and it's already starting to craft with the common ones. Okay, now we go ahead and turn on the other three. 
here, turn off the red signal, go here, turn off the red signal, and now our crafting table should be going crazy. All right, we're making all kinds of good stuff here. All right, let's go back upstairs. Do, 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 do. All right, now it's, it's, it's frozen up because it, it's at the point where it doesn't know where to go with the next one, what's after Epic. So let's go ahead and take the Epic bag, right? We're gonna make the next recipe. Take Epic. And that's gonna get us the Legendary. And let's go ahead and keep it inside also. So we're gonna hit Apply to that. And now it's gonna start crafting again. We'll put that in there. And so now it has actually gone through all our bags. If you look, they're all at zeros now. And the last thing left over are these epic bags here. Let's go ahead and take these out. And this is where we're going to talk about which you think is better. I mean, I kind of like the idea of, you know, what the heck. You, you don't know what to do with all most of this stuff anyway. But this is what we basically got with all the looting bags last time. Now this time, we have taken all the bags and we have recrafted them. And it's given us five legendary bags. These bags better be pretty, pretty, pretty darn good to beat all this stuff here. Let's see what you think. Um, rare mama, mana, mana bucket. Uh, I mean, what is it? Primal mana bucket. Sorry, I don't know where I get rare at. That's just crazy. Crimson cult banner. Mm, okay. Let's see what else we got here. We got oh. I hope this doesn't explode now. Unstable, stable ingot. I never heard of it. Now that is pretty cool. Um, delightful meat and some diamond boots. That's all right. Uh, that's cool. I right, guess see what we get on the next one. This will only take a second, guys. Crimson Colt Greaser. Greaser. Re Grievous. Grievous. I have no idea what that is. Vibrant alloy. Huh? Uh, iron ore berry, which we really don't need much. Essence berry bush. That's kind of cool, but we got plenty of essence going. Trust me. Alright, let's see what else we got here. We got another essence berry bush. And let's see, this is the last one. Aluminum, which we really don't need. Mana steel, okay. And another Sunday roast. Alright, so this is everything that we got. Let's look at it again. Using the sorter. Let's go ahead and put this over here, because that way it's like a 4 by 3 That's everything we got using the sorter, I mean the crafter. This is everything we got by just breaking them down. I'll let you make the decision which one you think. Actually, some of this stuff wasn't broken down. This is uh, from the mobs that we got before. Some of this stuff is already in there. But still, most of this stuff came from opening up the looting bags automatically through this thing. Alright, my friends, I'll let you decide which one you think is the best. Again, if you see anything I need to know, please leave it in the comments below. If you learned something you didn't know, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, my friends, and have a great day. Bye.